Hey folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. I want to talk to you real quick today about something that has been brought up in my, uh, my local circle lately uh, is uh, barter and trade. So first off, I'm going to back up to um, the fact that everyone knows by now that uh, our country is uh, our our government is trying to go all digital digital currency that's the new big thing um, they are uh, some banks are about to start out with digital currency it'll be a, a, a transformation it'll be like um, probably maybe kind of optional at first for just a little bit and uh, I'm not sure how that works but I know that our government is about to go digital currency. And we also know from listening around that the US dollar is failing, falling, declining. Um, a lot of countries have um, uh, swapped over to BRICS. I don't know or understand all about BRICS and digital currency and all that mess. What I do know is um, I can see, I can foresee a time when we have digital currency and the dollar has collapsed and it will be hard to do things like yard sales and, uh, and just buying something from the neighbor. Um, <clears throat> if it's, if we go to just digital currency, uh, there won't be cash dollars and coins to swap out maybe gold and silver but i see gold and silver being a little harder to just trade and or you know use than dollars and coins so uh that's being talked about by all the uh, prepper type homestead preppers that kind of thing so you've probably heard it by now um and um so I, I just, in my head, my first thought was, I like to go to yard sales. What's gonna happen with that? And uh, I'm sure, you know, some people have the little uh, squares that they can put on their phone and you can still scan your little card through there and give them money. But that's all, not everybody's gonna do that. First off, not everybody's gonna do that. Not everybody's going to get a square and, and, and use that because that will have to be reported. That will be taxed and reported and, uh, and controlled. And uh, so, um, there's going to be a whole lot less yard sales and uh, buying um, eggs from the neighbor. Um, so... Um, it was brought up very recently within my circle here local about going ahead and starting some barter and trade. And some of you may have already thought about that and already done that. And, uh, and, and to, to a little bit extent, a lot of people do a little bit of trading. Um, you know, it, maybe even services. That was another point I was going to bring up was not only goods, but services. You can barter and trade with goods and services. And um, I, I don't wanna get too much into what we're gonna do, but um, a, a group uh, is going to possibly, we're just getting this started, just in the talks of it, is uh, starting a barter and trade group within our little um, circle. That's what we'll call it. Our little circle uh, is going to start barter and trading and getting used to that now before we have to do that. So that's what I want to talk to you about is go ahead and learn how to barter and trade it may sound simple. It sounds simple to barter and trade, but not always, especially not 
if you're doing services also, it can get a little tricky in there to figure out um, who can do what and what's, what goods they would want in return for their services and um, what, what goods they would trade for their goods. All of that could probably get a little tricky. Now, my group is just now uh, fixing to start talking about how to go about that. So, uh, I'm just wanting to put this out there as a, um, um, a uh, uh, be aware. Be aware that you might ought to start thinking about these things. Go ahead and get you a group if you don't already have one um, that you can help each other out. And barter and trade is a big part of that kind of group. Uh, some people call them MAGS, Mutual Assistance Group. Some people call them different things, whatever. Uh, your little community group. Um, I, I'm thinking of this one, and, and this is just off the top of my head, is that ours might could be a resource group. I like that word of it because... We will be resources for each other. So ours is kind of, uh, haven't talked to anybody else about this yet. <laughs> so I'm throwing that out there. Uh, ours might be like what we would call a resource group or something like that. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things that, that we could offer, that me and Lee could offer. Uh, Lee is kind of a jack of all trades. He's a great handyman, jack of all trades. Uh, we grow a lot of food and herbs and, um, you know, just different things. What I need to start thinking about is what services we could offer. What uh, products and things that we could offer so that when our group gets together, I'll be able to say, well, we can do this and this and we can provide this and this, um, you know. And, and it's kind of tentative. I mean, I, I might say four or five things that we can do or provide, but then there may be others that come up later. So it's just a, a jumping off point of getting together with a small group of people and saying, hey, let's agree to barter and trade together. And here's what we can offer. Let us know what you can offer, and we will go ahead and start some of this barter and trade uh, within our small group uh, now before it becomes necessary. And then you're prepared ahead to tell others as your group grows or as you spread out to your other parts of your community, you can say, hey, over here in our group, we have these services and these goods that we might could offer you over in your group uh, for exchange for something in your group we don't have. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's a great idea. I didn't come up with the idea. Uh, of course, Barter and Trey's been around forever, but I mean that someone in my circle brought up the possibility of going ahead and learning to Barter and Trey now before it's necessary. And I thought it was a wonderful idea, and we uh, spoke about it briefly. And I uh, think the first thing that we need to do is get together with a few others that will be in our group and start planning, start the planning uh, stage of how that, what that's going to look like and how we're going to go about setting that up. And um, I've been kind of looking around on the Internet to uh, other groups and things. And there are actually barter and trade groups on the internet that um, uh, um, they set up a website and offer barter and trade within that website. But there are fees and things like that involved. And what that's gonna involve is the government watching that and possibly taxing you or, um, or you know, nosing in your business. So I recommend not doing that. <laughs> I recommend a small group of your people like uh, kind of like a um, kind of like some of the preppers have their groups that are going to help each other out and 
and protect each other and all those kind of things. Well, this is not all that. This is just about resourcing your group, resourcing within your group of, of, of people around you that you trust. Another thing, make sure it's people you trust. Uh, make sure it's people you trust and make sure that you can pretty well get along with these people so that there's no big conflicts and uh, go ahead and work out the kinks ahead of time and figure out how it's going to work, what you're going to do, who's in charge. That's a big, probably a big thing. <laughs> who's in charge? Uh, that might be one of the first things you want to figure out is who's actually in charge and who is you know, two or three um, board members or whatever you want to call them that is the group that's going to be deciding everything, you know. So, uh, that's a, a place to start. And uh, I think that probably you should just reach out to whoever's in your, in your uh, uh, circle. It could be family and friends. It could be a, a, a group you already have like, um, oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, like uh, what kind of group? A support group you're already in, maybe? Or your church? Or um, your homeschool? Your homeschool moms and dads? That's a great place to uh, find other people like-minded that would be willing to barter and trade. And probably a lot of homeschool groups already do that. But go a little further. Go a step further with it and really set it up and start doing it now so that you've got it down by the time um, it comes to that. And it really is looking like it's about to come to that. Um, so uh, we know, we know this, we know this now. I mean, a little while back you might've said, ah, oh, I don't know if it'll ever come to that. I don't know if they'll ever get digital currency in my lifetime. I don't know if, uh, one world currency and government will, will happen in my lifetime. Well, let me tell you, it's getting close. Some of it's getting real close, especially digital currency. And the US dollar is going downhill fast. And we see it more and more every day. Every day you see in the in the in the news. I don't watch the mainstream media news, but I listen to um, some YouTubers and some uh, people online that uh, do watch and keep up with those things and then repeat them to my understanding <laughs> and to, uh, to uh, um, help me better understand what's going on all the way around. And so the guy that brought this barter and trade up to me in my group or my uh, circle, uh, he is one of those people. He watches all the um, current events and news and keeps up with all of that stuff. And uh, then uh, I listen to him tell a lot of it. And, um, and it's coming. It's coming, folks. It's coming. Better get ready for it now. Better make preparations now. And this is one good way to... Be prepared for that is um, start a barter and trade group or call it whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm thinking if you, um, you know, you could call it a barter and trade group. I'm thinking resource group sounds good because we will have all kinds of resources uh, from services to goods to skills that you can teach. That's also a thing. There's skills that uh, that someone could teach in trade for goods or services. I, I know especially I would love to learn to sew well. I don't sew well. I had a sewing machine I thought was my fault. I thought I just couldn't sew and come to find out the sewing machine was a uh, a piece of crap to begin with so there you go but I haven't bought another one to try I sew a little bit by hand if I need to mend something but other than that I just don't 
I would love to learn to uh, sew well. And uh, so maybe I will. Maybe that's something someone can teach me in exchange for something I have. Or maybe they can just sew for me in exchange for something I have. <laughs> so there you go. That's how it works. Um, Y'all think about this and um, let me know in the comments any ideas you have for this. Because like I said, my group is just barely getting started. Uh, we haven't really even gotten together yet. And so we would love to know uh, any ideas if you are already doing this or any ideas you have for this. Let us know in the comments and I will share them with my group. And um, we appreciate you watching. Give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.